Hey guys, this is Kelly from SkySurf. I want to give you a little tutorial on editing points in Metashape Professional. Uh, so here's uh, a job site that I have. Happens to be a pile of sand in Minnesota. Um, and there's a couple pieces of equipment there that I ultimately do not want to show up for any volume calculations. So I'm going to go ahead and, and select these areas. So to do that, I'm going to go up here to the toolbar and, and choose this box select. Now, if you wanted to, you could do a freeform select or a circle select, but for this, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to use the rectangular select. So I'm going to choose that. Now, when that's ready, I'm going to go ahead and select this bulldozer. I'm going to hold control down and select this other crane. It's kind of a yarder type machine. And I'm going to go up here to tools, dense cloud, and then filter by selection. Filter by selection will allow you to, you know, not delete out any points at this time but basically it just filters out. Um, so you're just gonna see that equipment right there and it's gonna be much easier for you to delete what you don't wanna see and leave uh, any existing ground there. So another trick guys is to go ahead and use spacebar to toggle between uh, the selection command and the pan command. So that's, uh, that's a really good time saver. So I'm gonna focus on this bulldozer at first. Uh, one thing I could do is go ahead and turn off my shapes and I can do that right here toggle the shapes off I don't want that to interfere with my selection I'm going to zoom in on this bulldozer here and uh, you know maybe just right from the top leave it on my rectangle select uh, remember hit spacebar uh, I'm going to go ahead and kind of take this out piece by piece so we can kind of see what it's doing so I'm going to go ahead and delete that out now I can pan to the side you can see there's still a little bit of artifacting from that so I'm going to go ahead and delete that delete that now you can actually lean it in this case and, and maybe get in a, a little bit of a different angle right there um, to trim it up even more. So once you kind of feel like you have it sufficient, uh, you could go ahead and uh, ultimately toggle back. But, but instead of that, I'm gonna focus on this yarder type machine. I'm gonna start deleting that out. So oh, I forgot to hit space by there guys, so uh, my bad. I'm gonna go ahead and select that delete that out. Uh, I'm getting pretty good here, but basically I can see the freeform select might be a good tool to use for the rest of this. So I'm going to go here, freeform select, and then I'll just draw around the bottom side of this machine. Uh, go ahead and delete it. And then I can pan around and kind of get any other, any other little pieces of this. Here's the track for that machine. Uh, there you go. There you go. So you can see it's fairly labor intensive to do this, but I do not think on a site that's as complicated as a gravel pit like this with these kind of slopes, I do not think any of the automated tasks are going to work sufficient for this site. There's just too much going on and there's too much uh, uh, slope in most cases where you're going to end up filtering out a lot of actual gravel pit. And then once you're done with that, you can actually go up here to dense cloud, filter by selection, and then you can just uh, reset the filter. Boom. Do you want to reset it? Of course. Uh, and then that brings it back and it's much more cleaned up at this point and you should be able to uh, find value from this tutorial. And if you did, please uh, hit that like button, uh, subscribe to my channel and then post any and all questions below. Uh, and then I'll have a link to my website and Agisoft store in the notes below. So thanks a lot, guys.